again. Um, today I wanted to talk about what it's like being a foreigner in China. The first important thing to know if you're going to move to China or even abroad anywhere, if you are not a native, people are going to stare like a lot. Um, because there's such a high population density of locals here and less of foreigners, some people have never seen like a white person in their life or people of color or et cetera, et cetera. But in the town that I'm in, like if I go outside of the city limits, some of these people have never seen a foreigner before. And so they'll just stare, not because they're thinking anything bad, but just they're curious about who I am and why I'm there. And um, it's just kind of, it's, this is a bad example, but it's similar to when you would stare at a celebrity. You want to know what they're doing, why they're there, what they're thinking, and you're just curious. Sometimes they stare because you're attractive. There's lots of different reasons, and um, it's easily explained, but in my case, because I don't like having a lot of attention on me, I get very shy. Uh, I don't like it at all, especially because sometimes it's not necessarily like good attention either a lot of the men here will cat call me on the street the most popular thing that they'll do is just be like hello hello but they'll say it kind of like laughing like trying to get my attention to um i don't know how to explain it exactly it's not it doesn't feel good it do, it's definitely cat calling um i bet if they knew english they would cat call me like today someone whistled at me um but Sometimes, instead of, like, catcalling, they will come up, which I prefer this. If they come up and they're like, hello, like, you know, you're very pretty, or, like, who are you, da 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 or, like, can you speak Chinese? Um, I don't mind that at all, but it's when they just, like, yell at me as I drive by or walk by, and they just want me to look at them, and they just want to laugh. That's what I really don't like, and that's what I get the most of. Um, usually older men do that kind of a thing. Um, and usually, like, teenage girls will be the ones coming up and asking me questions and, like, introducing themselves. Um, it just kind of depends, I guess. And also, because I am a young woman with long blonde hair, that's probably why the men cat call me here. Um, I don't really know. And yes, I'm wearing my pajamas. It can also be hard to make friends here, depending on the situation. Either... If most of the people around you only speak Chinese, then it can be hard because it's hard to communicate with them. Um, sometimes it's hard just because there's a limited option for the people you get to talk to in your native language. So, like, if there's three people that you know who speak English and you don't like two of them, you're stuck with only having one friend, which isn't necessarily bad or anything, but it can just be a bit frustrating. Um, and... The language barrier, it's not always horrible. It's not always like, I can't be friends with anyone because they don't speak English and I don't speak Chinese. It's just very frustrating because it's not just that you can't communicate because there's Google Translate, there's Pleco. There's also Pleco. And so you can technically translate with other people. Google Translate is actually really awesome because you can um, speak into the mic and then your phone will translate it and speak out the language that you translated it to. So they don't have to like pause and read and then type in and then you pause and read and it's just you can speak, wait a second, listen, and then they speak, wait a second, you listen. So it is like talking sort of. It can be a little frustrating because it's not always perfect, but um, I've had friends who don't speak any English and I don't didn't speak any Chinese at the time and we hung out like many times for like long periods of time too um, and we just used Google Translate the whole time but um, it's not just the language thing it's also uh, kind of the sense of humor and um, the inside jokes like in America we have a lot of slang and we have a lot of inside jokes that we don't realize are inside jokes so if you say like, oh, that's really funny, like, ha, 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 someone who's local here will be like, why? Why is that funny? That's not funny. And then you feel stupid for laughing at something that they don't laugh at. And it can be kind of like isolating a little bit, especially in China. They are very blunt about certain things. Here, everyone will tell you 
like, oh, you've gained weight. Or like, oh, your hair looks really bad today. And not to be mean. It's just like if your friend was like, girl, you got something in your teeth. Like, check it out. It's the same thing. But um, they don't mean anything bad by it. They're just trying to tell you so that you can grow. And um, even though I understand that, it can also be really hard to receive. Like if someone tells me I've gained weight, I get really self-conscious. Because growing up, I had a lot of problems with my self-image. And they don't know that here they don't know that it's like very personal for me to talk about my weight sometimes and so if they say something to me I'll be like oh but they didn't mean anything bad it's just kind of how it ended up turning out it can actually also be really easy to make friends here like um in my situation I have classmates and they are also exchange students none of them are from the states but most of them speak at least some English and they're all living abroad too for whatever reason brings them to China so we do have a lot that we can connect about and it's a lot of fun to learn about other countries and other cultures but um, it still has the same situation like the con to it still applies but it can also be a lot easier to make friends with foreigners here because um, it's kind of like having a safety net like they are new here you're new here everything's scary to both of you like you can keep each other safe sort of a thing um, it's like having a family I guess uh, like you don't love all of your relatives but like you spend time with them and sometimes you really enjoy it too and some of your relatives you really love and they're like your best friends um, it's the same as like having a group of foreigners here that you know and see on a regular basis Something else about being a foreigner here is it can be really frustrating not knowing how or why things work and then having to learn as you go because for someone who's been here a long time, things just seem very normal. Like uh, people running red lights, it's normal here. It's like if no one's there, you just go. But in the States, if someone runs a red light, like they get a crazy ticket and like it's super dangerous. But here you can just kind of go if it's safe sometimes. and. Um, so like, tri oh, I need to blow my nose. So like traffic is not always very safe here and learning how to maneuver through traffic either as a pedestrian or another driver, it takes a long time and it's really frustrating sometimes because you're like, why are you doing this? Just listen to the light or like, don't get in my space. Like, can't you like understand the right of way? Like what is going on? And so it's really frustrating sometimes dealing with, um, this frustration that like they don't understand like that this way should be like this and why don't they do this and um, so if you're like really grumpy and you're out in traffic and like you deal with some kind of like bad drivers as you know someone from the states would say it can be really frustrating because it's like why are you in my space like and if someone gets hurt it's gonna be your fault so that can be really frustrating and that's just like an example it's also like there's the way they queue here, the way their like hospital, at least in a small town, the way their hospitals work. There's a lot of small things that can be really frustrating because as a foreigner, I just don't understand. Uh, but it can also be fun, like learning how to do things again can be really exciting and like a new adventure and it keeps you on your toes. So you don't fall back into your routine so easily every single day. It kind of spices up your life a little bit um and that's probably like the most exciting thing about coming here but it's also one of the most frustrating things about coming here is like learning how to just kind of live day to day with like society rules and like standards and um habits i guess i don't really know <laughs> but the thing about living abroad at least in china is it makes you feel special because people do look at you. People always tell you you look really pretty or like that you're really attractive or like your teeth are really straight and white when they're like crooked. And um, it's just because our beauty standards are very different in America versus China. And um, so part of that like definitely goes in my favor because I'm pale as shit and like they really like paleness here. And I have long blonde hair and that is a rarity here. You only have to see blonde hair if it's dyed. I mean, like, my hair's dyed and all, but, like, I still have, like, light-colored hair, basically. And, um, 
Having a big nose here is also really good, which is one of my biggest insecurities. So that can be like hard for me to accept as a compliment sometimes. I just look different. And so that's something that makes me special here. And I also act different and I speak English. So people do make a big deal about me. And it's not because I'm special. It's just because I'm a foreigner and foreigner is special. But... You know, it can help with your uh, self-image a lot, too. When I first moved to China, like, I was learning and growing as a person. But since being here, I've really grown a lot because being here has definitely helped my confidence. Um, and when I go back to the States, I definitely feel it a little bit. Like, I'm happy not being stared at when I go out. But uh, it's still, it's, it's weird almost when I go back to the States because I feel... It's like when you see celebrities, like the um, paparazzi pictures, how they always, like, have hats and sunglasses and stuff. Like, that's me here. Um, and, like, people do take pictures of me on the street and, like, videos and stuff and da-da-da-da-da. But um, when I go back to the States, I feel like I need to do the same thing anytime I leave home. But I don't. Like, no one stares at me. I'm not weird. The only time someone stares at me is if I have, like, something on my face. So... It's something that's, like, good and bad. It depends on, I think, who you are as a person and what you like and your self-esteem, I think, um, and your confidence, too. I guess what I want to say at the end of this is it is something I will miss when I'm back in the States is not being the foreigner. But at the same time, I think it will be very nice not to have to worry so much about what I look like when I go outside because not so many people will be staring at me. I hope that helped you learn a little bit about what it's like being a foreigner abroad, at least in China. If you have anything you want me to talk about in future videos, please leave a comment. I finally got like um, a tethering cable so I can watch myself on my laptop while I'm filming, which is really nice, except the quality of it is really bad because I'm using a free app thing. Um, and it like freezes a lot, but I get to watch myself. And so sometimes instead of looking to the side of the camera, I look down a lot. <laughs> also, I'm hoping to start doing some vlogs, maybe one every two weeks, just to give you a better insight on what living in China is really like. If, um, if I do that, I am planning to upload them um, halfway through the week. I do it on Fridays now, so I would probably upload on Tuesday or Monday my time, which would be about sunday night or monday night in the states um so i'm still working on that and seeing how it's gonna turn out i ran into some problems with that today so we'll just have to see i guess if you have any questions about it definitely leave some comments or shoot me a message and i will try to answer them as best as i can if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and i will see you next week thanks and i hope you guys have a great day bye